Hello, my name is Kenzie Sims and welcome to the Sims 3 Speed Build. So today I am building a four bedroom L-shaped house called Petunia Way. This house only took me like an hour to build, I was quite surprised with myself actually. But it is unfurnished so yeah, that kind of makes sense. <laughs> Um, I tried to make it as detailed as possible on the outside though and I tried to make the floor plan quite different to what I normally do and I definitely did because there's a really cool feature of the house where there's actually two staircases to two separate like areas of the upstairs so on one area it's got like all the kids rooms and the main bathroom and then on the other side it's got the master bedroom with the master bathroom and yeah I thought it looked really cool so I went with that um, it has a garage which you can only fit like one car in unfortunately even though it looks quite big um, and it has many rooms downstairs as well so you go in there's like quite a big hallway um, sorry not hallway is it called a hallway where the stairs are and then there are two hallways one goes um, to the kitchen the dining room the living room and there's another little extra room which could be an office um, but if I was to furnish this house I would make the office in the living room because there's like a little space at the back of the living room um, so I don't really know what the other little room could be and then there is like a sunroom or a conservatory type room on the left of the house and to get to that room um, you have to go through the kitchen through another little hallway into there um, so that little hallway from the kitchen into the sunroom could probably be like it can just be a hallway or it can be like a little pantry area or something. Um, downstairs there's also a bathroom and like a laundry room that comes off the garage into the living room. So that's how you get from the garage to the living room, you have to go through the laundry room. Um, and the garden is huge, it's on a 30 by 40 lot I believe and the driveway is quite huge as well. And I went with like a pink kind of theme so I went like light creams and light uh, brick and stuff and whites on the windows and that kind of thing um, and then pink flowers everywhere <laughs> all different shades of pink so we've got like hot pink, fuchsia, magenta, baby pink, pastel pink like yeah so many different pinks in the garden but I think it looks really cute um, the actual colour of the exterior of the house is quite basic um, when we get to that you'll see, I mean you would have seen anyway because of the thumbnail, duh. <laughs> um, and it's the kind of house colour you see a lot in the UK, so like brick with, um, we don't call it stucco, I don't really know what it's called in England, but it's like stucco um, and it's basically painted white or cream or something, like there's a lot, a lot of houses in um, England that looked like that so yeah I suppose it's quite an Englishy type house but then it looks quite American as well because it's got like the front porch and not many well I don't think I've ever seen an English house or a house in the UK that has like a front porch like there like a decking area we have like decks on the back but not normally on the front of the house but I really would love one of those in my own house like I'd, I'd be down for that definitely because they're so cute and I'd love to sit out the front and just watch the world go by sit on a bench and stuff but be undercover like say in the rain or something I don't know maybe I'm dreaming but <laughs> um, anyone can build one of them on the house if they really want to in the UK but that, yeah you just don't normally see that type of thing UK houses is that, are actually quite boring like I love the American look of houses um, because they're always like different colours, they all, they're always a lot bigger and have more rooms and just more space. Um, bigger driveways and they're always, like we have a lot of semi-detached houses in the UK but in America you all seem to have like separate houses, like detached and yeah, I'm jealous of that because I have to hear my neighbours coughing and sneezing and their dogs barking constantly and it drives me mad <laughs> so if I could live in like a detached house which you can get in the UK like you can get but they're expensive um, then that would be amazing and I'd love that but I'd just love to live in the middle of nowhere to be honest like I'm not a people person really 
I'm very introverted, not extroverted at all, even though you may think I am from the way I speak in my videos, because I'm quite confident now in my videos like when I'm speaking, but yeah, in real life, nope. Ask anybody who knows me, I am quite quiet. Anyway, <laughs> off on a tangent there. Um, so what can I talk about? What am I going to be up to? Oh, happy Easter. Whenever that... Well, this video is going out on Saturday and Easter's like Sunday, Monday. Easter bank holidays anyway. Um, so yeah, I hope you have a nice weekend if you celebrate. I don't really celebrate Easter. I mean, I'll, you know, I'll buy an Easter egg for my girlfriend or I'll, you know, I'll gladly receive Easter eggs. But yeah, I don't really celebrate it in a way a lot of other people do. Um, I don't really have a family meal or anything. Um, yeah, I don't really see the point in, for me, like, you know, you do what you want to do, but I don't do that. Um, never have. I'm more of a Christmas gal or, you know, Mother's Day, birthdays, all that kind of stuff, Father's Day. But, um, what am I doing? I've got next week off work and I'm so excited. Um, haven't had a week off since well, Christmas, I had two weeks off Christmas, so that was good, but Christmas is just hectic, isn't it? So yeah, it's about time I had another week off, and hopefully I can get more videos out, but we'll see, because my girlfriend also has a week off as well, and if she's in the house, I don't know if I'm going to be able to record much, but I'll try, I'll try my hardest. I mean, if I can't actually record voiceovers, I will try and do builds or videos, you know, I can still make the videos, but I might not be able to actually voice over them yet, but we'll see. I mean, she goes out on her own sometimes to see her family and whatnot anyway, so I might get a chance to do some kind of voiceovers. But uh, I'm really enjoying building at the moment, not so much furnishing. Um, I've said this before, I prefer to build, like do speed builds of the exteriors and then furnishing my houses um, like live or in real time. I just like to take my time with furnishing and it takes me a long time so that's why. Sorry if I sound a bit out of breath. I just had to run down and turn my bath off because I was just oh, running my bath while I was doing that first half of the voiceover. Okay, breathe Kens, breathe. So um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I've got a week off. I'm going on a little getaway to like Shrewsbury area. Um, staying in Oh my gosh, I'm really out of breath. Staying in like a log cabin with a hot tub with my girlfriend, she really nicely booked it, surprised me, and she was like, we're going here on this date. And I was like, yes, thank you. <laughs> Not for any occasion, just, just random. We just both need a little break and yeah, it'd be really, really nice. So uh, we're doing that. Don't know what else there is to do in Shrewsbury other than shopping and stuff, but Hopefully we'll be able to find a nice restaurant or somewhere to have breakfast or something. Yeah, me and my girlfriend, we don't do much. We don't go out clubbing or anything, so we won't be going out drinking or to the pub or anything. We just don't do that, so... Um, yeah, it'd be nice to relax, go in the hot tub, eat nice food and just be together. That is what I'm looking forward to. Um, so, what else do we want to talk about? What else am I getting up to? Probably get up to a quite a lot on my week off um, so hopefully in my next few videos I'll have something to talk about but right now all I'm doing with myself is like working working having the weekends off doing my oh I'm doing something this uh, today actually so this video will go out on Saturday but Saturday evening so I'll already be back from where I've gone <laughs> But I'm going to Stratford on Saturday with one of my friends, reconnected one, with one of my old friends. Um, and it was, yeah, perfect timing. And it's just great because, um, well, a few reasons, I'm not going to go into it. But um, yeah, we both reconnected. We've been out a few times. Like every other week, we seem to be going out doing something. And it's so nice. Like I haven't had many friends for a, like a while, like a year or two. I um, haven't had any friends really and it's really nice to have someone back in your life who actually wants to make plans with you. Um, this person is always making plans with me more than I'm making with them and I'm just like yeah I'll go along I'll do this and we're doing all different stuff like we've been for meals, um, uh, they've popped around here, 
Um, we're going to Stratford, obviously. We're planning to go to a theme park soon. Like just so many random things, and it's it's so so nice. So we went out for a drink together as well. But I'm not good with drink. Drink doesn't. It just makes me feel so ill. Um, like so, even like one cocktail. We went out for cocktails. Even like one or two cocktails the next day, I feel hungover, even though. I have literally only had one or two. Um, it's not good, but it lasts for days. And it's it's not just like alcohol-based hangover. It's like, it brings on the anxious thoughts and, you know, alcohol is a depressant. So it just does not agree with me anymore. I used to be out like every weekend, more than once drinking and partying and stuff. But whew, ever since I hit the age of 30, mm -mm. <laughs> so I just prefer to do fun things that doesn't involve alcohol like I can't even have a sip of a drink a sip of a beer or a sip of wine or anything literally I'm sick for the next week um yeah it's weird because it's not like I'm allergic or anything unless I've grown into being allergic because I know every like seven years or so you can develop like new allergies um it could be that but I don't know like alcohol just doesn't agree with me and I don't find it fun anymore. Um, yeah, it's fun to you know have a little bit of a buzz and a bit of a um, get feeling tipsy and stuff and a bit more confident, but it's not worth the feeling I get the next day. Oh, it's just awful. So I'd rather just go out and I mean I can go out partying and not touch a sip of drink. Like I'm not bothered about that at all. But um, yeah, it's just best me not drinking at all, not even a sip because as I said, it doesn't agree with me. Very strange, but that is the way I am. <laughs> so that's what I got to deal with. And you know, I, I, my party days are well and truly over. Like I've had many years, almost ten years, of going out drinking and partying every single week. So yeah, you know, I've had my fair share. I'm not going to miss it. It's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, just popping in the landscape, and I really like what I did with this house. Uh, with the landscaping i really like to go as detailed as possible with like the front of the house and i know it's really like lazy of me but then when i get to the garden or the back of the house like it probably doesn't have any landscaping at all or barely any but never mind that's just how i roll at the moment um if i want to furnish a house i will if i don't i won't i mean the tudor house I f that was like almost fully furnished um and oh i'm so annoyed with that house I don't have the export, I exported the build, but because I changed all my games and installed via the disc instead of the EA app or Origin, um, I forgot to upload the exported Tudor home to uh, Mediafire or wherever. Um, so the only other place I can think that, that I might be able to get it is in the save file, but I can't, at the moment I can't even find the save file. So when I do, or if I do, hopefully I do, um, find the save file then i will hopefully be able to put the tudor thing up but i'll i'll uh tell you on the community tab anyway i'll put like a little post on there if i do find it um but that's like the most detailed and the best house i've probably ever built and i've literally lost lost the whole house so fuming but never mind i'm not going to dwell on it or stress over it you know it is what it is um, obviously there's a reason it wasn't meant to be out in the public <laughs> but at least you got the video to watch and yeah we spoke about a lot of things in there as well so if you want to pop and watch that go ahead only a couple videos back so it'd be easy to find but anyway here are the planters are they called planters window boxes I can't remember <laughs> window planters um, that I put on the house I always think to myself when you put them like up on the top floor see me i got rid of them and put them back because it looked nicer when they were back on but like how do you water them on the top floor uh do you just stick out stick your head out the window and use your watering can or i don't know you, do you get someone to come and put a hose <laughs> out the front because i know there are people that come out and if there's flowers high up they can um but you have to hire them to come out or you could do it yourself with a jet wash i don't flip in now but yeah there is ways to reach the flowers up there but you know to pot them and all that kind of stuff it probably take a lot of effort so i'm not sure if it's that you know realistic to put flower box window what are they called flower planter window 
flower panthers. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Then it's probably not ideal to put them on like a second, well, or on a first or second or third or fourth floor because, yeah, they'll probably be hard to take care of, but never mind. Maybe they're fake flowers. Maybe they're false, so it might be okay. But uh, this is pretty much all I do with the garden. A couple of lights, a bit of a pavement, and I was thinking of putting a swim pool in, but because this is such an English looking house, like in England, we don't really have swimming pools because it's the, just because of the weather. Uh, I know someone who's had a swimming pool before. We have hot tubs and that because hot tubs are warm, but like it's very rare unless you like got a lot, a lot of money um, and you can probably afford heating in the pool. Um, yeah, but it's just not worth it. It's not worth having it in England because there's no like you, you'd just be freezing. You'd freeze and you'd you'd turn blue. Honestly, you would. Yeah, I'm just uh, recolouring things and putting in wallpapers and fencing and, uh, you know, all that boring stuff. Um, maybe one day I will, I don't know, get the motivation to furnish it. It won't be in a speed build or anything. Well, probably not. It might be in like a real time episode series with loads of episodes is what I meant to say. A series with loads of episodes. Or it might be a live stream or I might never touch the house again. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I have no idea, but uh, I don't know how long is left of the video, probably like another minute or two. Uh, and there are a couple of screenshots at the end, and if you want to see uh, more screenshots anywhere else, I pop them on Twitter, I pop them on Instagram, I'm starting to use Instagram a bit more now. Um, so yeah, make sure to follow me on Instagram, it's just Kenzie Sims. So on my grid and in my... Uh, video thing I'll do like sim stuff but in my actual like Instagram story I will post things like that I'm doing in my real life so I don't know when I'm in Stratford I might post a little post of a duck <laughs> or the river when I'm in Shrewsbury I might take a picture of the log cabin I'm staying in you know just so you can see what I'm doing when I'm not playing sims but yeah uh just popping in the flooring of the garage or oh, forgot all these things are going to be sticking through so yeah I had to move all them um, and I just kind of put like a concrete floor in and I think I put some paint uh, underneath the house like black it out like I do in the rooftops and that and then I'm sure that's pretty much all I do but anyway thank you so so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this build uh, download will be in the discord the link to the discord is down below and I will see you whenever on the next video. Have a wonderful Easter and bye. Love ya.